Jesus. Come on, somebody ought to give God praise. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. This is another day that the Lord has made. I said it's another day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You ought to just tell somebody, God is good. Hallelujah. How long is God good? And all the time, God is good. Amen. What a blessing. What a blessing it is. Amen. To be in the house of the Lord one more time. Could have been, should have been, would have been the other way, but God with his good self, he's allowed us all, amen, to be here. And I don't know about you, amen, but back in the day we used to have hand clapping, foot stomping church. I said we used to have hand clapping, foot stomping church, amen. I don't mind giving God praise, amen, amen, amen. Someone said, I'm going to hide behind of the mountain I'm gonna hide behind hide behind the mountain I'm gonna hide behind hide behind the mountain I'm going where the chili chili a chili wind don't blow Say I'm gonna hide behind, I hide behind the mountain. I'm gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. Oh, I'm gonna hide behind, hide behind the mountain. I'm going. Oh, I'm going 
going well. Chilly wind don't blow. Amen. One of these mornings, it won't be long, y'all. We're going well. Chilly winds don't blow. Amen. We're certainly grateful and thankful for each of you. Amen. That have joined us here at the Rivers of Life Church. Amen. Come on, Rivers of Life. Let's thank God. Amen. For those on Facebook, those in the sanctuary, let's just thank God. Everybody, lotted, dotted, everybody. We yeah. thank God for each of you being with us. We even thank God for last week's virtual service. Amen. We pray that it was a blessing to each of you. Amen. We are down to the end of the summer. It's been a busy summer for us, but the Lord has blessed us and He's kept us. Yeah. He's allowed yeah. us, amen, to do ministry. Yeah. Amen. And I just want to tell you, God says, continue. Amen. amen. God says, keep yeah. on, keep it on. Yeah. Keep on, yeah. amen, even when it gets rocky, mm -hmm. even when Sunday service yeah. don't go exactly like we planned it, yeah. amen, God said continue, yeah. amen, God has something, amen, in store for the Rivers of Life Church. I believe that with everything I have in me, amen, that the sky's the limit, yeah. amen, that we have not seen anything yet, yeah. amen, three years we've established, amen, an order for ourselves, Amen. We got a good system going. We're just going to allow God to do the rest. Yes. Amen. Stay faithful and stay committed. Amen. Amen. God's going to do the rest. I believe that in my heart. I believe Amen. that in my heart. With that comes a little bit of adjustments. And I am very certain in my spirit now what that means. Mm -hmm. Where we stand with some things. Amen. 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 If we got to move on and shift, we just got to move on and shift. Somebody say amen. Amen. I'm certain about that in my spirit. I believe that after these past few weeks of revival, amen, we can no longer allow certain things, amen, to hold us up where we're going. Amen. We got to shift and move. We got to shift and move. Somebody say amen. Amen. I'm certain about that, and I believe that in my heart. So rivers of life, stay committed. Stay faithful. Amen. God is up to something. Amen. Amen. As long as God is in it, we can't go wrong. Amen. Amen. We do have, we do have an invite next week. Amen. At the uh, Baldwin Branch Church. Amen. I'll be preaching uh, Pastor Louis Boykin's 10th year anniversary. He's invited us all, amen, to partake at 10 a.m. Amen. I know we have service next Sunday at 2 p.m. Amen. And that puts us on a tight schedule. But if you can, please, man, please, sir, let's support them in that endeavor. Yeah. Even if we got to tip out a little early to ensure home is okay, amen, let's support them on next week. Amen. Amen. It's a word time. Amen. I got a word I want to share. Amen. With each of you, God has been speaking to me concerning this word, and I want to give it to you. Are you ready for a word? Amen. 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 If you're ready for a word, come on, give God praise like you're ready for a word. Amen. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. We are going to go into the word of the Lord today. Amen. I'm excited about what God is going to say to his people. Amen. It's, it's, it's been a while since I've, I've gotten to, to preach for y'all, and I'm excited. Come on, amen. To be back, amen. To share with the River of Life Church. Uh, go with me today to the book of Esther. It is not too often we preach from Esther, but we are going to share a word today from the book of Esther. Amen. The book of Esther, we're going to chapter number two. When you have it, you can say amen. The book of Esther, chapter number two, and I'm going to read three verses there. Verse 15, 16, and 17. Verse number 17 being our main scripture text. Amen. Esther chapter number 2, verses 15 through 17. Verse number 17 is our main scripture text. When you have it, you can say amen. Amen. It says, now when the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken for his daughter was come to go unto the king. She required nothing but what Haggai, the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the women, appointed. And Esther obtained favor 
she obtained favor in the sight of all of them that looked upon her. So Esther was taken unto King Ahasuerus into his house royal in the tenth month, which is the month of Tibet in the seventh year of his reign. Yes. And the king loved Esther above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor. Lord, help me here. Yes, she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. Yes. So that he set, he set, he set, he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. Can we say amen? amen. And the king loved Esther. Yes. Above all the women, and she obtained grace and favor in his sight. Somebody just shout grace and favor. Grace and favor. She obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So much so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of of Vashti. Friends, today I want to preach from a subject entitled Our Deliverance is Already Set. Amen. Yeah, our deliverance is already set. Pray with me. Father, we thank you for this time that you allowed us to minister your word. We pray now, God, that you would speak in the midst of your people. We need to hear a word from you. We praise you this day in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. You may be seated in his presence. I want to preach from a subject today entitled, Our Deliverance is Already Set. Uh, can you just tell somebody, Our Deliverance is Already Set. Come on, come on, tell somebody else. Just tell them, say, neighbor, our deliverance is already said. Come on, lay your hands on yourself and say, my deliverance is already said. Amen. My deliverance is already said. I have for a few weeks uh, been telling you that there are two kinds of sermons. There is uh, those of repentance, which we preach to bring the people to Christ. But then there are those messages of Deliverance, uh, which speak specifically to our situation. And under the umbrella of deliverance messages are those that are prophetic. And we know that a prophetic message is a message that speaks to the future. Amen. Amen. And today, 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 I come with a message of deliverance, a, a prophetic message, a message that speaks specifically to what you're going through. Amen, amen. And today's message, amen. God sent me here to tell you that your deliverance is already set. Amen, amen. It's already set. Uh, the God we serve, he knows the end from the beginning. Amen. He, he knows the start and he knows the finish. He knows the in and he knows the out. He knows the coming and he knows the going. He knows all things. Catch this. For he is the omniscient one. Amen. Our God has all knowledge. Amen. The Bible declares before I, God, formed thee in the belly. He says, I, God, knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I, God, sanctified thee. Amen. And I, God, ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Before any life occurrences or before we came into our own catch this rivers of life, God, he knew us. He had ordained purpose for us. And he had willed that we live for and serve him and him alone. Because he is the only deity, catch this, who knows all things. Amen. Just tell somebody he knows all things. He knows all things. 
yeah, God, God tells Jeremiah, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Amen. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Do I have a witness? Yeah. Amen. That, that, that verse, amen, in translation says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you an expected end. Do I have a witness? Amen. God knows all things. If we circle the block, we find, amen, Job declaring that God knoweth the way that I take. And when he has tried me, or oh, I wish I had somebody, I shall come forth as a pure gold. My friends, God, he knows it all. Nothing bypasses God. Nothing is coincidental. Nothing happens by chance or by luck. God knows the end from the beginning. God knows the start from the finish. God knows Genesis to Revelation. He knows it all. And it is not hard for him to know these things. He does not have to research these things. He is not in the office using Google or some kind of search engine. God just knows all things. How does he know it? How does he know it? How does he know it? Pastor, tell me, how does God know the end from the beginning? Well, that answer is simple. He knows the end from the beginning because he is the beginning and he's the end. I wish I had a church here. I said God is the beginning and he is the end. Jesus says in the book of Revelation, I am Alpha and I'm Omega. I'm the beginning and I'm the end. I'm the first all oh, talk pastor and I am the last. Glory to God. I want you to understand John the Re John the Baptist comes back and says in the beginning was the word. Am I preaching y'all? And the word was with God and kept this the word. It was God. Hallelujah. This is who he is. Amen. And guess what? Can I tell you something? He's not going to change. Lord, help me here. I said, this is who he is, and he's not going to change. He says, I am the Lord thy God, and I change him not. The Hebrew writer says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, and today, and forevermore. Just tell somebody, that's who he is, and he will not change. He will not change. Friends, here's an idea that I must present to you. If God, catch this, if God knows all things, yes. then surely he knows what we're going through. Amen. Lord, preach in here, Pastor. And if God knows what we're going through, then I'm sure he knows that the pressure is massive, that the burden is heavy, and that the stakes are high. And so I can't help but to say that if God knows everything about our circumstance, then surely he knows when we're going to come out of that situation. Lord, y'all just miss what I just said. I said, if God knows everything about our circumstance, then surely he knows when we're going to come out of that situation. In other words, if God knows everything about what I'm going through, then surely he has a date set for my deliverance. I wish I had a church up in here. I said, surely if he knows everything that I'm going through, then he has to know a day when I'm going to be delivered out of the hell I'm going through. Just tell somebody, your deliverance is set. Your deliverance is set. Your deliverance is set. Rivers of life, can, can I drop something on you today? God is not waiting for the stage to be set to determine your outcome. He's not waiting on the right people to come in contact with you to determine the end of your trial. God catches this, and y'all, y'all, y'all trying not to, to, to act up too bad, but God has the story already written. Lord, help me in here. He knows exactly when life is going to turn around. 
He knows exactly the day your deliverance is set. It won't be a coincidence or a happenstance. Luck has nothing to do with it. God knows your freedom date. Reach in here, Pastor. He knows your turnaround date. The calendar, oh, y'all, y'all listen to this. The calendar has already been marked. And God will bring it to pass. Your deliverance, oh, preach, Pastor. My deliverance, their deliverance, our deliverance, it is already set. Tell somebody it's already set. It's already set. It's already set. Our deliverance is already set. You see, friends, the human race is faced with so many difficulties. Seemingly, if it is not one thing, it is another. Gas prices are high. COVID-19 cases are rising. Uh A new plague monkeypox is charging through the streets. Mental health traumas. PTSD episodes. Domestic violence. Poverty and starvation. Family and parental struggles. Terminal illness is apparent in everybody's home. I don't think any of us can say that nothing is going on in our lives. All of us are facing some kind of circumstance. Every one of us has a situation going on behind closed doors. There's something that we are all going through. Senseless violence in the streets. Poverty starving the children. Depression has an apartment complex in the minds of so many. Sicknesses like cancer are robbing our loved ones of success and prosperity. Drugs and opiates are killing and ripping families apart. Our world is ailing. People are bound. People are spiritually tied up. They are entangled with yokes of bondage. And a lot of us are asking the question, how in the world did we get here? Am I preaching to somebody? How can I be facing such issues? How could my children be going through such a strange circumstance? Haven't I shown them the way? Haven't I lived godly before? How could they turn out this way? How could this sickness tackle his body like this? He was healthy as an ox. He was strong and vibrant. How did I allow this to come into my life? How did I get here? That's the question many of us won't answer. How did I get here? Where did I go wrong? How did it turn? Why did it turn out like this? Why, why, why did I find myself in this predicament? What happened that, that, that all this kind of gloom has been brought into my life? What did I do to deserve this? Am I preaching? What, 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 what happened? Just ask somebody what happened. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened, what happened to me? What, what, what happened to me? Sister Dan, what, what, what happened? How, how, how did I get here? What, what, what happened? How, what was I doing when all of this started going south? What, where was I when all of this started turning ugly? What, what happened? What happened? What happened? And I'm not sure what happened in each of your lives. Yes. Not sure how you arrived where you are. Uh-huh. I'm not sure why you're facing what you're facing. I'm not sure why you're going through what you're going through. But one thing I do know is that the Lord sent me here to tell somebody that your deliverance yes. is already set. The calendar has been marked and the time has been set. The day has been selected and the clock is in motion. Your deliverance has already been set. You ought to just tell somebody my deliverance is on the way. Lord, lay your hands on yourself and say, my deliverance is on the way. It might not look like it, might not feel like it, might not seem like it, but God told me to tell somebody, your deliverance has already been set. Somebody on Facebook needs to lay your hands on yourself and say, my deliverance, Lord, help me, is already set. The time of my breakthrough is at hand. Lord, I feel like preaching in here. I said the time of my breakthrough is at hand. The time of my turnaround is at hand. The time that God is going to bring me out is already set. The time that God would have me come over is already set. The time 
time that God would bring me through this trial. Yes. It's all ready set. Oh, Touch your neighbor and say it's already set. It's already set. Come on, you gotta say that thing like you mean it. Tell them it's already set. It's already set. It's all it's already set. Yes, Lord. Can I can I can I can I can I drop something else? Drop it. Drop it. God already knows yes. when your storm yeah. is going to end. Amen. Amen. You see, a lot of us get distracted and get worried. Because yeah. it seems like I ought to be through with this already. <laughs> Haven't I already learned the lesson? <laughs> Haven't I already been through this long enough? But God told me to tell you that, that, that he already knows when the storm is going to end. Yeah. God already knows is going to cease. He knows, catch this, when healing is going to hit that body. He knows when beauty, when ashes is going to turn into beauty. He knows when mourning is going to turn into dancing. He knows when the spirit of heaviness is going to lift and the power of praise is going to hit your spirit. God, he already knows amen, when things are going to turn around. He knows when your crying will be turned into joy. God knows when your deliverance is going to come. And so God told me to tell somebody uh -huh. you need to go back to the book. Yes. Go back to what the word said. Amen. The word said. I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep my composure the damn time. I'm trying to do, try, try, try to do, try to do it the right way. But, but, but I got to tell somebody today, read it. May endure for not, Lord, help me preach in here, but joy. Uh -oh, uh -oh. It comes in the morning. It, that, that sounds like a set time. Help me preach in here. Yeah, 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 I got to tell somebody what the book said. The book said, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, they are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. That sounds like a sick time. Deep, 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 what you say? The, the, the time is already set. And we know that all things, Lord, help me here, they work together for the good to them who love the Lord. Can you tell somebody the time is set? Something came across my mind this morning. And remember what came across my mind was I was thinking about the children of Israel. Uh -huh. we, 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 a lot of times we hear and we talk about their first captivity in Egypt. Yes. But that was not their only captivity. Uh -huh. They also went into bondage under a man by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. Yes. They were held hostage in Babylon. Uh -huh. But did something bless me about their captivity in Babylon. Yes. Because the Bible declares uh -huh. in Jeremiah 29 and 10, uh -huh. we quote Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the plans yes. I have for you. But if you go back to Jeremiah 29 and 10, yes. the Bible says that after 70 years be accomplished, yes. Lord, help me in here, I will visit you and I will perform my good word towards you and causing you to return to this place. In other words, God said, I'm going to let you go through. He said, I'm going to let you go through the storm. I'm going to let you go through the rain. I'm going to let you go through the fire. But at the end of 70 years, Lord, help me preach it here. God said, I will come to you. It sounds like the time had already been set. Lord, help me in here. And I'm going to tell somebody at Rivers of Life today, amen, that God said, I've already set your time. told the children of Israel the exact time uh -huh. yes. they were going to be delivered. Mm -hmm. yes. See, 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 God does not wait for things to take place yes. before he sets your deliverance. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of us, we say, well, you know, we got to see things play out. Uh -huh. We got to let the things play out. And once the thing plays out and, and, and we think that this is an opportune time to move, then we begin to move. But God says, I don't things to play out. I don't need things to work out the way you want them to. God says, I'll release trouble. But at the same time, trouble is released. 
release. God said, I release deliverance at the same time. Amen. Lord, help me here. See, a lot of us enter into trouble, and we think that it just happened. We think that it just came about. But God said, when I release trouble out of the cage, I also release deliverance out of heaven. And when trouble gets done doing what he's going to do, the deliverance angel will step in your life and bring deliverance to your says after seven years be accomplished yes. I will deliver you uh -huh. God is not waiting on the storm to end before he offers you hope Amen. God says I know catch this catch this God says I know the expiration date of every problem you're facing God said I know the ending to that issue I know when the tables are going to turn and God said I don't need a calculator I don't need a formula and I don't need an equation when the storm hits your life it has an ending maybe y'all can maybe y'all can get it like this trouble don't last always when you enter the bad relationship God said, I set a time for you to come out. He's not waiting on a favorable outcome. He's not waiting on the happenstance. God knows when things are going to come to an end. Because God says, catch this, that I'm God. And besides me, there is no other. I know the end from the beginning because I'm the beginning and the end. I know the first from the last because I am the first and the last. He says, I'm the author and the finisher of your faith. And guess what? He says, I got trouble on a road. Yes. I got trouble on a rain. He says, I tell trouble what to do. I tell trouble when to lose his grip. I tell trouble when to get his bags and get to save it. I'm sick. So wipe your eyes. Uh -huh. I've set your deliverance. Calm your nerves. I've set your deliverance. Rest at night. I've set your deliverance. Be assured. I've set your deliverance. Hold your head up. I've set your deliverance. Stick your chest out. I've set your deliverance. Give me some praise. Because I've set your deliverance. Give me some glory. I've set your deliverance. And can I tell you one more thing? And I got to try to get out of here. The increase of pressure does not change the expiration date. Sometimes it gets in something and it starts out one way. Yes. And then by the time we get through it, it seems like what was little, what was a, 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 a molehill, uh -huh. is now a mountain. Yeah. And God says the amount of pressure you're under does not change the expiration date. Yeah. God says Job suffered many tragedies, one behind the other. But that did not stop God from sending the expiration date. God said because once the date is set, no devil in hell, yeah. no amount of pressure yeah. can undo the date that is already set. Lord, help me preach in here. God says, I've already set uh -huh. your deliverance. Yeah. I gotta leave you now. But there are four characters in our text. Yes. There's a man by the name of King Nurses. The King James Bible calls him a hazardous. Yes. And then there's somebody named Esther. She is the wife of the king. Then there's somebody named Mordecai, who is the cousin to Esther. And then there's a man named Haman, who is the chief minister to the king. So we got King Yerses. We got Esther. We got Mordecai. And then we got Haman. Well, Haman, the chief minister to King Xerxes, he issues a decree to kill all of the Jews. Yes. For no reason, he wants all the Jews 
to be killed. He demands that a massacre happens to the Jews. Catch this, a day was set. He sets a day by casting lots. The casting of lots was generally the throwing of rocks. They cast lots or they threw rocks to assign a day. They were trying to set a day when all of the Jews would be killed. They threw out their lots. They threw out their rocks. And they decided that on this day, thank you Lord Jesus, that they were going to kill all of the Jews. I need you to hear what they were saying. They said, as we throw these rocks, wherever the rocks land, that's going to be the set day that we kill all of the Jews. The lots fell on a particular day and came and said, on that day, I won't all the Jews to be killed. Trouble was let out on a specific day. But how many of you know that on the same day, hallelujah, that Haman said, kill the Jews. God had already set for that same day to be a day of deliverance. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but somebody got a day on the calendar, and that day looks like it ain't gonna be in your favor. The day looks like it's gonna turn out ugly. The day looks like it won't get better. God told me to tell you on the same day is going to be a day of deliverance. Haman did not know it, but one of the virgins that was going before the king, her name was Esther, and God had put Esther in a prime position. God wanted Esther to go before the king. She prepared herself to go before the king. The day of killing was set. But Esther said, I'm going to see the king. She believed in her heart that if I perish, let me perish. I'm going to see the king. I'm going to see the king. But I'm not just going to dance for it. I'm not just going to be pretty. But I'm going to talk about my deliverance. I wonder if there's anybody at the river today or is there anybody on Facebook and say I'm going to talk to the king. I'm going to talk about my deliverance. I'm going to talk about this situation. I'm going to talk about this trauma. Have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about your trouble. He'll hear your baby cry. He'll answer by and by. Feel a little prayer wheel turning. Know a little fire burning. Have a little talk with Jesus. We'll make everything all right. I wonder, can I pull the room today? Is there anybody that ever had to talk to the Lord? Is there anybody that ever had to call on the name of the Lord? Anybody ever had to get down on your knees and say, Father, I stretch my hand to thee. No other help do I know. If thou wilt draw thyself, thyself from me, where shall I go? And so the Bible says that Esther said, I'm going to talk to the king. I'm going to meet the king. And when she walked in the king's chamber, when she walked in the king's room, when she walked in a royal diadem, the Bible said that she obtained favor from the king. I wonder if there's anybody in here that knows about God's favor. God's favor will rest on your life. God's favor will open doors for you. God's favor will turn situations around. When the enemy said no, God's favor will step in in the nick of time. The Bible said she obtained favor and the king, he loved her. And guess what, y'all? The same man that told her you're going to be dead because you a Jew is the same man that was hung on the set day. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Haman wanted all the Jews to be killed.
healed. Glory to God. But when the story got to the end, the very man that wanted the Jews killed was the same man that ended up dead himself. Maybe you can get it like this. What the enemy meant for bad. God will turn it around for your good. I wish to tell somebody it's working for my good. It's working for my family. It's working for my walk with God. God's going to get the glory out of this situation. God's going to get the glory out of this circumstance. God's going to get the glory. Your deliverance. Already. It's already. Already set. Don't you worry about it. Amen. Don't you stress yourself. Amen. Tell Brother Tim be at ease. Amen. Your deliverance. Already. It's already set. Yes, when God is going to bring you out, yeah. it's already. Yeah. Already set. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what the enemy wants you to believe. Mm -hmm. That it can only get worse from here. Uh -huh. It can only be uglier than this. That's what the enemy wants you to believe. That it won't turn around. Mm -hmm. It's getting worse before it gets better. Yes. But you go back and you tell that devil, you a liar. You tell that devil, no weapon from the against me. Silence. Your deliverance. It's all ready set. It's all ready set. Father, thank you. For your word today. Yes. Thank you, Thank you. For the strength of preaching. Yes. The foolishness of preaching. Uh -huh. Is power to those of us who believe. Yeah. Father thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this promise. Thank you, thank you God that our deliverance. Is already set. Yeah. It's already in motion. Yes. You already. Positioned it to be where it needed to be. You're not waiting on the stage to be set. You've already set the stage. Thank you for deliverance. In Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and shout amen. Amen. Tell somebody your deliverance. this opportunity to be able to share this word with you. Your deliverance is already said. Father is up to something. God is going to bring you out at the right time. He may not come when you want him to. But he's always right on time. It's offering time in the sanctuary. Today I want you to give something to the Lord. Yes. Don't leave him to end. Mm -hmm. Don't leave here with your gift. Give something to God. Mm -hmm. You can give one of three ways. You can give in the sanctuary. Uh -huh. Or you can give by cash out. Yes. Rivers of Life 2. Rivers of Life 2. Capital R, capital O, capital L, and the number 2. Rivers of Life 2. You can also give by way of Easy Times, go on our Facebook page, click on the Easy Times link and you're able to give there as well. The last way you can give is you can give by sending your gift to email to 910-335-8663. Again, that number is 910-335-8663. Those of us in the sanctuary, we're going to prepare. Before we give that gift, I want to pray over your gift today. I want to pray that you will give something, be a blessing to the house of the Lord. Before you click send, before you give your offering, let me pray. Father, thank you. Your word teaches us, God, that it is you that gives us power to gain and increase. We pray now, God, in the name of Jesus, that you would help us to forever give to you. We want to be cheerful giver, not grudgingly nor of necessity, for you love a cheerful giver. Bless our hands, God, as we give. Bless our hands, God, as we receive that we might use these things for the upkeep of your kingdom. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
Jesus. Come on, say amen. amen. Come on, let's let's give. Let's give to the Lord. Amen. In the name of the Lord. You ought to give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. You just give, give, give. Oh, give it in Jesus' name. You just give, give, give. Give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will bless you with some more. Oh, you just give, give, give. Keep giving, give it in Jesus' name. You just give, give, give. Oh, give it in Jesus' name. You just give, give, give. Oh, give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will bless you with some more. Oh, you just give, give, give. Give it, give it in Jesus' name. You just give, 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 oh, give it in Jesus' name. You just give, 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 oh, give it in Jesus' name. And the Lord will bless you with some more. Amen, amen. Girls of life, thank you so much. Amen. Remember, stay steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Yeah. As you know, your labor will not be in vain. Keep on doing what you're yeah, doing. Amen. God is going to do something great. Yeah. Remember, amen, next Sunday, 10 a.m., amen, at the Ball Marriage Church in Littlertown. Also, yeah. Men's Day is coming up. Men's Day is coming up. Our, our colored man is burgundy. We're going to wear our burgundy and gray ties. Amen. Women, if you'd like, join us. Join us on that day. Amen. Our assessment. Amen. Gold is already out. So please, ma'am, please, sir. Amen. The Reverend Hammer, Hammer, Harry Samuel of Columbia, South Carolina will be with us sharing on that day. Amen. So come one, come all. Let's be a blessing. Amen. On that day. Amen. 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 Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his presence with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be both glory and majesty, dominion and power. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. We love you. Amen. Go in peace. Amen.